Okay, so we now have created, uh, you know, the, the first section. The blue is the section, the green is the row, and the gray is the module. Okay, and that's how it works. Let's just keep adding to the section first. We're just going to add um, um, uh, another row. So I'm just going to go down here, and you'll see when you hover, see these little pluses? So if I want to add another module on top of this one, it would just go directly underneath. If I click on this, it'll add a new row. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a new row. Um, and we'll just do the four columns. I'm going to do four columns. There we go. And uh, it's automatically going to ask me the first one that I want. I'm just going to go do a call to action. Doop. Okay. And uh, I'm not going to worry about filling it all out. But you can see there's options here of what's in the content, the title, um, what the button is. And again, they always have the same design things here. Um, so there you go. And then we'll just hit the little checkers. Good. Now I could just click on this and do the same thing again. Uh, in fact, let's do that just so you can see. Call to action. Okay. Is it okay? Now, if I want to do another one, though, I can also just duplicate it by clicking on this. See this little double? And you can duplicate anything. So if I click on that, you'll see it made a second one. And then if I grab the arrows, I can drag and put that right in here. And it'll go in there. And I can also do some other things, too. So I can throw one away by there if I don't like it. I can save it to the library to use for later. You'll see that later on. This is what I click to get back to the settings if I wanted to go back and adjust them. Okay. Click on the X this time. Um, and if we click on this, what we can do is we can actually copy the module. You see there's a bunch of different options here. If I click on three dots, I'm going to click on the copy module. Um, and then we'll just go ahead. It's not really going to help me in this case, but we'll just put paste module. And then there it is. And then I can just bring this up. But I could take this module also and paste it in here. So uh, go up to this one and go paste module. And then you'll see it underneath, right? I'm just going to hit the trash to get rid of it. but um, Oh, well, you can see how that works. Okay. Now let's add another another section. Okay. So this is one section. So if I hit the little blue here, it's going to add a new section. You'll see there's regular, specialty, and full width. Okay. Full width means that if you remember in Bootstrap, we could either do container or we could do um, uh, uh, liquid container or what was it called? I think it's container fluid. You do container, container, fluid. Fluid containers go to the very edge. That's what full width does. Specialty is like a weird one where you can have these weird layouts. Um, what we want to do is, let's do that again. Then let me back up. We want to just do regular, which is what we've been doing, which will just be like a normal container. And in here, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and do a two column. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do a testimonial. So you can scroll. It's alphabetical. So I was just typing it out because it was quicker. So ST testimonial. And you're going to see it's going to add a testimonial right here. And again, you can see all the options. And I'll just hit the checkbox. But if I want to get back up, just go over it and hit this. Um, over here, we can go ahead and I'm just going to add text. So I'll hit the little plus on that. And we'll just type in TXT. There's text. And we'll just add some dummy text. Okay. And now I'm just going to accept the results. All right. Now, um, let's go ahead and just adjust the settings for this whole section. Because see how, like, you can't really tell that it's a separate section. So one of the things I like to do is, uh, you probably noticed this on my site, I do this. I click on this. And then I will go to the background. And then I will choose a background color. So let's just do, like, a light thing. And now... Uh, every row that we add will have this, this whole section will be this background. And this section is, uh, well, it's probably clear, but basically it's white. So we have this section, this section, and then I could do another section and make that one, you know, clear or white or whatever, and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, and you can also go to the row. So you go row, hit the settings, and there's options here. So if you want to change the row width, uh, add a column, um, you know, things like that, there's different options here as well. Okay. So... Uh, that's basically how it works. So we have sections, and then you have your rows, and you can have multiple rows, and then you have the modules that are in each one of those columns of the row, okay? Now, um, before we can actually, well, we actually could just save it, but uh, before we save it, let's just go ahead and make some adjustments. So on the very bottom, uh, you'll see this. This is the page itself. So if you click on that, you're going to see a menu is going to pop open. On the left here, it'll show you previews for if it's on a small, like a, uh, like an iPad, and then if it's on a mobile, like a small, small, okay, so medium, small, and then this is desktop. So if you click on those, it'll preview what it will look like 
uh, in those various um, formats, CSS tablet view. Um, I'm just going to click back on this, but, and then there's also uh, the phone view. So it's nice because you can just quickly see what they are. Uh, if we go over here, you'll see they add this little layers panel. So if you click on this, it's going to show you the layers. And basically the layers are all the things that you've made. So if you can see we have two sections because remember we made two. We started out with one. And if I expand it, you'll see a row. And then that row is a single column. And in that column is the image. And then the other one, if you remember, it was a, well, there was four columns because it's each one of, in each one of these columns, you have a call to action, which are what these are. And if we scroll down, you'll see that we'll have one row, with two columns, and one column has the testimonial, and the other column has the text, okay? And that's just another way of grabbing them. So like, you can see they have the same options. So if you have a hard time trying to grab something, you can try to use this layers. Um, I don't really use it, but I probably should. Um, okay, but let's go ahead and just adjust the page settings in general. So if you hit the little gear icon here, we'll get the settings for the page, and we can give uh, a page name. So we'll just call this my first Divi page, because right now this page doesn't have a name. If we were to save it, if you look on the top, it says page ID 12. So it's just working off an ID number, it doesn't actually have anything else in it. Now there's featured image and backgrounds, all sorts of other stuff. But the main thing I want is just that title. Uh, I'll hit the check, uh, the check mark to say OK. And then we're done. We'll hit publish. And now it is published. Um, and then to actually just exit out and just see it in the front, you know, like a normal user, we just click up here to exit the visual builder because right now we are in the visual builder. And you're going to see all the little things that hover over like this stuff here. Um, this will all disappear in a second once it's outside of that visual builder. Just have to give it a second. The nice thing is, too, is if you don't hit save down here, like after you hit publish, it's just save every time you make a change. Uh, it should auto save, but if it doesn't, when you go to exit, it'll actually be like, do you want to save before you exit? Um, and now you can see when I hover over it, this is what the page looks like. And generally speaking, it's pretty one-to-one. -one. I do have on occasion where it doesn't look exactly like it does in the page builder. Uh, but most of the time, probably the way that your site's going to be will probably be fine. And if you look on the menu, you can see it added my first um, Divi page. It's right there in the menu. And if we go back to the dashboard, and if we go... Uh, to pages, you'll see that um, our page is there as well. In um, in the back end, you can see it, my first Divi page. And also has a little hyphen for Divi. And if we want to go back and edit it, you can always just click edit with Divi. Okay, or you can click view, just see. All right. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just how to make a very basic page inside of Divi. Um, yeah, okay. So uh, that should be pretty good. Uh, so just make sure you save it and everything looks good. And then you can go to the next uh, slide.